I'm Rory McDermott. I'm Tyler McDermott. Train, Train on! on. Guys, Professor Chris here with day two of our <coughs> coverage of the Pokemon World Championships. Just had a wonderful breakfast that's provided by our hotel. I had way too much sausage and bacon uh, than one man should ever eat in one sitting, but I, I had it, I ate it all. That's what Pokemon Masters have to do, get the protein for the day. All right guys, we made it in, and we're getting ready for the player meeting for the Boston Open, the tournament that I'll be competing in. They were handing out these Symphonic Evolutions flyers to so having the Pokemon Symphony here, um, which unfortunately we won't be able to go to, but that's okay, because I still just really like the flyers themselves. Yeah, it looks like much more activity going on today than there was yesterday, so I will keep you guys updated and informed. Hey guys, we're back and we got our first viewer of Trainer TV. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi everybody, my name is Watts Coulter and I'm here and I just saw Professor Chris and I thought I'd stop by and say hello. It's awesome to meet you and I'm glad that we could get you on here. Um, keep watching and keep looking out for us because we are around. Hey guys, I just wanted to say it's so cool to be here. There are so many different ages of people so if you're an older player or if you're really young, you just need to know that there are so many other players like you because I was feeling before we left like we'd be the only like 20 something family here, which I haven't seen a lot of other babies, so we are in a minority there. But there are so many ranges of ages playing, so I just want everyone to feel included because you are. Hey guys, I lost Professor Chris. He just went over to start playing in the open. I'll show you guys a little bit what's going on. Everybody's lining up, um, they're gonna collect deck lists and all that jazz. So, until we hear from him to see how he did, I'm gonna go find some coffee. Did it, nailed the coffee thing. Um, I'm very upset at myself though, because I was going to get something super clever, like Professor Juniper, or May, or something like that, and instead I just put my regular name and they spelled it wrong, so, suck. Chris just texted me and last night we were talking about the one deck that he does not want to face, which is a Landers deck. And I was joking around with him, like, oh, I bet that's going to be the first deck that you face. So, well, guess what? It is. from Chris again, and he said that by some miracle, they reassigned everybody for the matches, so he's not facing Landorus. So I'm going back down to the first floor. I went up to the main floor to see um, if there was anything, if there were any matches up on the big screen, but there aren't yet. So um, I'm going to go check out the first floor again and see if anyone started playing yet. Okay, you just said your first match, so what happened? Yes, well, I lost, but these are Swiss rounds, so that's okay. I was up against a Night March with my bats and just made a couple different bad placements of the sneaky bite ability to knock out some of those little joltics and stuff like that, but that's okay. I come back, I'm gonna dominate some more decks, and I just hope I don't break down. guy who he had a Mega Rayquaza deck which is what Raichu loves to play so that was a lot of fun um, but now we're both super hungry for that so we're gonna get some pizza over here at Crazy Do's see how it is uh, something very special and important just happened if you look behind me you'll notice another very famous booktuber that's Jay Witz right behind us not a big deal at all not. Him and his wife Renee. Where are you, Justin Flynn? <laughs> You're next. We're gonna find you next. Okay, so how did it end up for the Boston Open? Well, so that was round four. Uh, 
faced my third Night March deck. Um, so Night March is really, really big around here. So um, he, run, he went around, I went around, and then the very last round we both down to our final prize cards. And he was able to retreat when I was hoping he wouldn't be. And I lost. So that cuts me out of the top 32, so I went ahead and dropped. So that way um, I can spend some time with Courtney and with Rosie. And that way I'm not just sitting and playing matches till 10 p.m. So we're going to hit up the store again inside because we didn't spend enough money yesterday. The <laughs> store! And uh, hopefully we'll have some more merch to show you tonight. Hey guys, we just refreshed with some dinner and delicious ice cream. Local ice cream places are always the best. And so we came back to watch some of the video game matches that are currently going on. Um, Justin Flynn is doing the commentary along with... Um, who's the other guy that's doing it? There's two, I'm not sure which one is. Yeah. I'm not sure who the other guy is, but um, we're going to see because, I mean, we already bumped into Jay Witz, so let's hope we can bump into Jay Flynn afterwards, but um, hope that you guys have been tuning in on Twitch to these matches because a lot of them are pretty intense, so. Hey guys, we just saw Jay Witz jump over this and also he ate it on a cord over there, <laughs> so that, that was cool. That would have been terrible if he had, like, face planted and, like, yeah. done something before. And then he did, like, a Ferris Bueller jump over this barrier, so. It was pretty awesome. I'm not sure where he's going. We didn't know you were so athletic. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Justin Flynn was here with his girlfriend Sarah. They are the nicest people in the world. So cool. Yeah. Um, you guys wouldn't believe it. I had a Gumi card for him to sign and neither of us happened to have a Sharpie on us. So he just told us to come bug him tomorrow when he'll have a Sharpie for us. It's awesome. Yeah, He's such I was nice going to tell you guys to always bring a Sharpie, but now maybe don't because then you can talk to him. Yeah. Gives you an excuse to come back the next day and talk to him again. But no, we chatted for like a good 15, 20 minutes or so. Just They're both super cool. They're both really, really cool. They're very tired though. You can tell he's super tired. Those poor guys, yeah. seriously. So, man, you guys, um, if you guys get a chance to come to these big events like that, you can meet all of these people that you have seen for years and talked with over comments or chats or stuff like that. Um, it was awesome. It is awesome. And they're always so willing. That's the thing, is that they're so willing to take the time to talk to the people that have seen yeah. their videos and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely worth it if you guys can make it out to these things. And yeah. also, don't be afraid to go up and say hi to the people that you know and love. Because otherwise, we would, we would never have had this opportunity if we didn't just go up and start talking. So, Well, guys, day two of... Pokemon World Championships has come to a close. Had some exciting times, um, getting to meet the Justin Flynn and talk with him. And uh, we went downstairs and did some trading. I got a couple Groudons. Um, seems to be doing pretty well. So I thought maybe I'll get in on the Groudon action here for a little bit after rotation hits. Um, but I also promised you guys showing up the merchandise we got. Um, so as you saw, we got Rosalina's uh, Pichu keychain. And Courtney also got this um, wonderful uh, EV Evolution binder. Excuse me, not binder, but a notebook. Um, she she's really great at like jotting stuff down in notebooks and making um, like just organizing her thoughts in that way. So I think that's a really cool and personal item for her. And then um, for me, Courtney actually got me this. I, it is the uh, world's hat. Let me get the other side going for you here has the sweet uh, World Championships logo, the Play Pokemon logo. Um, so ultimately we got some really cool stuff. Um, there's lots of sweet things at that store and a lot of it's actually available on their website, the thepokemoncenter.com. Um, so make sure that you check that out. But otherwise, thank you guys for joining us for day two. We're gonna be back tomorrow. We're gonna wake up early, go to the finals for TCG in the morning, and then stick around for the video game finals and um, all that good stuff so it has been a blast so far I've had so much fun it's been ridiculous and I'm glad that you guys could join me on this awesome trip along with uh, my wife and Rosie so thank you guys so much until tomorrow remember train on yeah.